Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my time at Porsche. Whoops. Uh, we are at episode 112 with Talina in Porsche, and the news today seems to be that the update's been delayed. I um I checked for it this morning, and not only was it not there, but when I checked the post that said the 20th, that date was no longer on it. So I'm thinking maybe they're just doing extra careful checks to make sure that it works. Uh, everything is working well. Much rather they do that than um, put it out when it's not ready. That would be unfortunate. So, looks like we got a little bit more time to get some of this end of game stuff done. Ooh, come here, scraps. So, uh, I forgot what I was doing yesterday. I know, head like a sieve. Uh, but I think we were trying to get some very elusive fragments uh, for our relics collections and we had made some of the large items that we that we needed I'm not quite sure what I've done with them but that's okay if I if I look them up now and find them I might accidentally give them to Pinky as a um, as a present and she would be very cross with me so kids are fed where's Mint there he is hey Mint how you doing today Moving ahead with work this time of year is so difficult. I can't even get a good nap these days. Oh, that's such a shame. But you can get a good breakfast. See? Darling. You're welcome. Alrighty. So now that we've solved the problem of our better halves and helpers destroying our garden. Actually, there's two, two, three. Okay, there's 999 things we've got to do between now and when this update comes out. The, the date is now, when I looked at it, it now says late October. So that is pretty good. It's still coming. All right. Of course it's still coming. They wouldn't just not make it. So we still have stuff to do. Uh, there we go. So now I'm going to have to check every morning and see how things are going, which is not a bad thing because I do that anyway. Uh, let's go check our llama. I'm only going to pat the llama once today. It'll be fine. Here you go, Frosty. Why are you called Cotton Llama again? No, no, no. Oh no, you're called Frosty out here. You're just called Cotton Llama in the thing. Alrighty. Say hello to the pony. The pony will get three pats because I'm still working on the pony's loyalty. So we're, we're in a setting up cycle as opposed to a maintenance cycle. I know. Happy horse. Gloss is like the, the main blotch of colour in the uh, thing. Okay, the pony has been petted. Let's see if we can manage to pet Floss. Yes, we can. Hello, Flossy. You can have a pat. What? Okay, you can have a pat some other time. Let's up. Uh... Man, too many animals in the stable. Okay. Fully trained, ecstatic, not hungry, that's pretty good. Pony is not hungry and is happy, which is nice. Loyalty is really low though, which is why we're petting it every day. It is now the speediest pony in the West, maybe. Uh, let's go for some endurance recovery though, because it needs to it needs to be able to get up and boogie with only a short interval of rest. Okay, our fishies are not hungry. Uh, I need to replant a whole bunch of seeds. Actually, I've got them in my backpack. Let's let's get that done. The other thing I think that I might do today is toddle over to the trading post because I know um, yesterday I had a question about how to do trades with them, and I'm not sure I was really clear. So I will I will do the thing, and because um, it might be easier just to follow along. Um, because. Trading with South Post, I remember just about tearing my hair out trying to work out how to deliver the goods that I said I could uh, because it, it wasn't real clear. Oh man, thorough these guys were completely. Look at this. So what I might do, if the, if the uh, update for my time at Porsche is delayed. The The other game that I play has an update coming as well that I'm really looking forward to. 
So I might start alternating days again and we might do a little bit of pumpkin days in between our Porsches so that or a little bit of Porsche in between our pumpkin days. It's all how you look at it. Just so that we can keep tabs, not keep tabs, keep track of what we're doing there and maybe, you know, get some of the post, the post beating jounce stuff done with that as well. So, um, so that update is the baby's update and the children update. So I'm really curious to see how that goes. Uh, and this update for Porsche is going to be the post, the post storyline stuff which I'm really, really looking forward to. So with, with two major updates coming out, um, yeah, it's exciting. It's always good to see, to see a game that you love getting looked after. All right, now I've told my guys that they're not allowed under any circumstances to harvest my crops because uh, I forgot to tell them that flowers are here for decoration rather than usefulness. Uh, so let's just that's right we can't pocket in this game all right Christella tree let's harvest that one I know they look really nice if you've got the whole area surrounded by sparkly Christella trees so maybe I shouldn't harvest them until they're all I don't know fruiting in sync but we will do a little round and see uh, see whether our apricot slash apple trees are ready Okay, these guys are good. <clears throat> what I love is you get this awesome view from the uh, from the top of the the house. Look at this. The trees don't quite block it, so you've got this massive view out here. They do block this one though, which is a bit of a pain. Oops. Because uh, I kind of was planning on putting that one out for for gust, uh, not gust, for mint. Oh no, I wasn't. That's that's the logic for my other one. All right. So basically, we've got this good view, uh, and if we want to, I guess I could put a table up here and we could do things. But uh, that that is all there. Let's just check these ones out. They're still working on their apples, so I better make sure I've got my fish soup. If I remember rightly, we went and did Somba Marsh bits and bobs yesterday maybe yeah yeah we did we did somber marsh stuff so we'll just get that titanium away and oh i have an important letter are you kidding me oh okay yep yeah. five replacements for the therapy light that's right every month now some extra herbs sure workshop rankings we, we came number one again and we're an inspiration, so that is pretty cool. Oh, right. Grab those. Pop these in here. Okay. So now that we have a little bit more time to uh, get our post-game bits and bobs done, well, let's go check out uh, all sorts of bits. Let's just pop those away. I might have to take out some of the apricots again actually. Yeah, we'll check out what our status is with those. Let's sort those up, pop across the things that we have completely run out of. We'll put the AI. I was going to check and see if Merlin liked AI data chips as much as she likes silicon data chips. It's a bit of an expensive experiment, but um, let's try and remember to do that today. Okay, what else have we got? Alright, so these these items here two three which means I probably need to pick the lift up ah, I also need to go plant my two monster seeds uh, and grab the therapy lights out of the chest that would be a good idea too so therapy lights are crafted at your work table once you once you receive that mission from Dr. Zhu to make the initial machine um, and then you just glass and copper coils. And I'm thinking I might make another 20. So that should be another year's worth of therapy lights. Just getting ready to go. It would be nice to find a cure cure, but um, I'm not sure that this, this condition lets it happen. Alright, 
So yesterday we took the pig for a fly, today we're going to grab Floss and take Floss for a run because it's good for llamas to exercise. Although it is quicker to get over to South Block if you um, if you fly the pig because you can just ignore the river. I know, let's go llama, let's bounce to it. We also need to, whoops, come back here girl. There you go. I like that stay function. Half the time I spend chasing my horse in the three wooden pillars, one wicker basket. Wooden pillars mean I have to go cut poplar wood. What does Martha want? You know what, we're going to do two iron pans because I'm building my friendship with Martha as well. And I've got the pans on me, that helps. All right, Flossy Floss, let's head over to Django's. I know, he doesn't cook with llama, so you should be fine. Besides, I'll leave you outside. You've got to be quick on that E button or she bounces away. What's been added to the shop? Something. All right, let's see. Prices are at 90%, so no, we're not selling fish today. I'm glad I sold them yesterday and the day before. Let's go say hi to Jane. Hey. How you doing? Getting your take on menu ideas really helps get the creative juices flowing. Hi, you're welcome. Uh, you also happen to like flowers. Oh, this is something special, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, recipes, here we go. Eggs or milk, we'll just take out all the options with those. Chili pepper, milk, there we go. So 10 to 1, this is another tart recipe. Yeah, cheeky beggar. Pretty sure he's given me that um, that snakeberry tart recipe like three times now. That's a bit rude. Mr. Django the Pirate Knight. I was pretty used to thinking that he only get, ever gave you a recipe once, but it looks like he might be starting to repeat them ad infinitum, which would be a little bit depressing. Alrighty. I think we're still building our relationship with Oaks and Papa Bear, because they're kind of down the bottom of the list. Uh, we're going to go past Alice's as well. And we'll grab some roses for Antoine. This is new, maybe? Oh, cool. Alrighty, but we're not chasing those right now. What we're chasing... Maybe it's positioning as new. Things look like they've been shuffled. Maybe did the... Do you think maybe the update came through and it just didn't show? You know what? Maybe the update came through and it just didn't show. What's that? Who? Ah, Floss, come back here. Now I wish I did have the piggy with me. Martha. Ah, no, bad llama. Whoops. The park is is okay for llamas, but not when I need to hey. ride you. So it is possible that the updates come through and it's updated and I just haven't noticed it. But that seems odd. Ooh, kind of exciting if that's the case, though. But uh, yeah, there was, there was no update waiting on Steam and no notification when I looked and nothing in the Discord. There might have been maybe something come through after I checked. Maybe that happened. Or this is a mission that I just haven't known about yet. And it's one I've missed. So we'll find out. There's so many ah possibilities. Come back. Man, that llama is risky today. This, this is what happens when you don't take her for a run. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe my relationship with yeah, yeah improved because of the other gifting that I've done. I know, I've got to find out why, always. No, that's not it. Fine, let's go see what the lady wants. Hey, yeah, yeah, how you doing? Young one, I heard you're a builder of some sort. I'll need some help from you if you're up to the task. Recently, Siwa has been borrowing my quilts. <laughs> And now I don't have enough to keep my motel running. Oh my. 
Can you make him some quilts so I can get mine back? Sure, do you have a, a crafting recipe? Thank you, what a good child you are. All right, let's go ask Siwa about quilts. Maybe he has a crafting recipe. A cruel winter. Ooh. Okay, come on, Llama. Let's go find Siwa. He sh and don't eat the grapevines because, man, that's a way to not get invited back, I tell you. Stay. I know, you can look, just don't lick. Here we go. So cold. Cold Siwa? We're here in desert. There's this way warmer than in my house. I've always found the cold to be unbearable, hence my life here in the desert. But lately the winter comes and it has never been this cold before. I'm finding it impossible to warm up, even with all of Granny's quilts. I'm freezing my b -b butt off. I haven't had a good night's sleep in w weeks. Oh man, the quilts aren't working? Yeah, nothing works. Hey, you're a builder. Maybe you could help. Got any b b bright ideas? Why don't I build you a furnace? Please be quick and put it in my room. I'll borrow another five quilts from Granny for now. Five quilts. Wow, that poor man. Place the stone stove. Maybe, maybe it's stone furnace. Let's go check it out. It's, it could just be they're using a different name for something we know. I know, my day's completely gone to pot. And I'm loving it because I haven't seen this mission before. Makes me wonder though, maybe maybe it was that other day when I gifted uh, what's his face is fishy and everyone's relationship went up. So maybe this is a Siwa mission I haven't seen. That's what it is. Okay, so my hopes are dashed. The update hasn't secretly come through. It is a Siwa friendship quest. Ooh, awesome. Mind you, come on, you can do it. Okay, hang on a minute. Back up, Flossy. Let's take another run at this fence. Okay, maybe you, oh no, see, you can so do it. You crazy llama, what are you thinking? All right, so I need still need to give Dr. Shu his therapy light. Um, hey, Mr. Ack, how you doing? Ah, come. Oh, what are you doing, llama? Come here, you crazy critter. All right, stay. There you are. All right, the only thing I can think of that might be an equivalent for a stone stove is um oops yeah for a stone stove is a stone furnace so i think we'll, we'll make one of those and just see if this is the thing that they want all right that won't take too long i might might have to switch from llama to llama power to pig power though yeah actually i think i will it's getting late hey flossy you can go to the stable now. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I like my llama. Uh, it does help if you pick up the stove before you go to deliver it. Come on, machine. I could be faster than this. Oh, but at least you reminded me to pick up my lift. That's pretty good. Alrighty. So I still need to go over to South Block and check out the trading post board and do a delivery. Uh, I still need, let me just grab this. All right, let's very quickly go find Dr. Zhu. Try not to fly through a roof, we'll just zippity doo da up this way. Ready go. There he is. Great, thanks for the help. You're welcome. All right, he's a happy bunny. Now, let's see if we can catch Siwa. I'm not sure we can, but we'll uh, we'll give it our best shot. There we go. I know, I should follow what's on the map. We are, and actually while we're here, we'll see if South Block Trading Post is open. It's not too difficult. We. 
See, at least I don't have to chase the pig, but then it doesn't really come either. Okay. Ah. Chat. You know, I'm not used to living in a temperate place like Portia. I like it hot, so I moved out to the edge of the desert. And you're still stealing your mother's goods. Bah. Okay. So let's see if this is what they mean. I don't know why. Yep. Okay. So for that mission, it says stone stove, but it means stone furnace. Body temperature rising. Feeling in fingers and toes returning. Urge to borrow quilts dissipating. I'm cured, kid. This is the best invention since quilts. I don't know how to thank you. Just take these as a reward. Oh, and I'll make sure Granny gets her quilts back. <laughs> Thanks again. Oh. Alright, so, oh wow. He he really did go a bit nuts with those quilts, didn't he? Let's leave the poor man to sleep. He's, um, he looks a little bit cold. Okay. Well, it's half past eight. What I'm thinking is it's probably a little bit late to go and, um, to go mining it probably well, it's never too late to go mining but while I'm out here and I'm this close to the poplar trees uh -huh, that snake's not gonna let me chop that tree down in peace is it fine we will um, I guess target of opportunity let's go and uh, take out the snakes and get some snake skin for Sam's favorite uh, gift so I always used to think these things were venomous until the Toby adventures because you get venom off them so maybe they're just like a, a low toxicity venom. I know, I probably don't need to take those ones out, but that's okay. If I get a box from a snake in a box, Jack will be happy. You. Oh, I didn't get the box. Sorry, Jack. What did we find Jack like the other day? He's not going to let me chop the tree down. Alright. Now that we've cleared the area of snakes that aren't poisonous but will still bite me, let's um, let's just get get some poplar wood for the next lot of poplar wood poles that we're going to need to build. Ah, uh, yeah, might help if I actually chop the tree instead of waving the, the chainsaw at it. So there you go. There are friendship missions for seaware, and um, I didn't know they were there. That's kind of cool. So it makes me wonder if there's friendship missions for the other guys as well. And actually there, there are, because I've done them. That his was the last one. I should know that. Because we had the, the necklace mission for Lua. Is it Lua, the dude that stands out in front of the, the cave? Uh, we had the getting lost and drifting boat mission for Lua. Uh, I, we had something for Dawa, but I temporarily forget what it was. And... Oh man. Chiwa. There was something else for Chiwa as well. So, yeah. So that was the last friendship mission for the, um, for the brothers. Just goes to show, it pays to check your map in the morning. Alright, so I know we do have more desert relics to collect. So I guess once we've chopped down these trees, I know, I feel like such a vandal, but they're, they're mutant trees and they grow back real quick, so I'm, I'm not feeling too guilty. I probably should be feeling guilty though, because until they grow back, that poor little south block is going to get inundated with sand. Or maybe, maybe Seawa's mission is a winter mission, which is... No, it's... Yeah. Anyway. Ifs, ands, whats. Click the bear. Find out what makes it tick. Okay. Or why it's not ticking the way you expect it to. Or why it's ticking when it shouldn't be. That's a bit of a worry. Alrighty. See, I would feel a bit bad if I left the llama out in the desert overnight, so that's fine. Hopefully, the update is not too far away. Alright. 
So now that we've got some poplar wood, I mean, I could scour the desert for the rest. There are four more trees I haven't taken down, actually. Five, five or six if I count those ones. <laughs> Let's uh, zip back this way. Would I like... No, I wouldn't. <clears throat> Pardon me, my throat's going again. Went outside to hang the washing and um, the pollen from the fetinia just straight into the back of your throat. It's insane stuff, I hate it. Uh, let us... So we're looking for about four pieces, if I recall correctly. Now don't ask me which four pieces they are. I think it's plain piece number two is one of them. Fine, you know what? Seeing as it's getting so late, I am just going to grab my drill and we're going to chase whatever piece we find first. Nope. I may have cleaned out this area. Let's, uh, let's find out. Keypad we've got. At this rate, I'll, uh, I'll be sleeping before I even find some treasure. That would be disappointing, but... I know, run faster, Talina. And I think we're after um, female doll number part one and... Oh no, <laughs> there we go. Not fast enough. We're going to change levels, I think. So, female, female dog, dog doll part uh, one plain part two. Oh man that guy is so sleepy I bet he waited up all night he should know better but anyway he doesn't let's uh, let's put the drill away feed the babies good morning um. yeah you're going well all right we also need to head out to south block this morning so let's give this kid a dinosaur I know, right? We love those dinosaurs. Maybe breakfast. And grab Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Aha, uh -huh. now tell me. Oh, no. I was going to say, tell me you don't want a dinosaur. But yes, yes, Jordan, of course, wants the car that we don't have. We'll have to go get some. Uh, the puppy wants an apple. Here you go, puppy. Yeah. Jordan, I'm going to give you breakfast and I'll be back with your dinosaur, okay? In the meat, yeah, I know. Dinosaur coming. How about you play with uh, a caterpillar until then? I know, right? Pinkster. Fine. I suppose you'd like your fishy. You would like your fishy. Here you go, kiddo. There you are. Okay. Zip out this way. I could take Frosty, or I could just grab my. Um, actually, I might just grab my pig. Hey, Mr. Ack, how you doing? Ooh, I have mail. Hey, Mr. Django, the answer's no. Alrighty. I know, that man, he races me in every morning. And he usually wins. Ah, uh, we have Wooer. 31. Actually, he's one of the lowest. Let's let's give Wooer his element. Aluminium plates today because hello, hello. Antoine, I have your roses. Winter is terribly dry. I need four to five face masks. <laughs> Look at your dry skin. <gasps> Rude. I should swat you with my bunch of roses. You know what? I was going to suggest that you use rose petals. How thoughtful in your of face you. Masks. I really like. You really like it. You just you should put it in a vase. I'm going to go away before temptation overcomes me. Look at my dry face, man. What's that boy think this is? Facial City. <laughs> now see, if he was more polite, I might offer him some llama milk to, um, you know, to put in his facials, because it's probably good for your skin. Why did I have girl llamas? Uh, anyway. Let's go get this kid a dinosaur car. And we might as well stock up on duckies and caterpillars while we're at it. There we go. I know, Pinky's like, what are you doing? And we probably should check the map. I got out of the habit of doing it. When when I'm in early game stage, um, it's like step out the front door, check the map. 
just to see what else has come up on the screen. That way you don't miss any of the little side quests that happen. Alrighty, let's grab the mail. Merlin, thank you. And Russo, you guys must think I have an old parts shortage. I tell you, it's not the case. Grab our aluminium plate. Grab all of those. Put that in there. Alright, we're just going to look for some... Just make sure the poplar wood went in as well, because I know I've got a back bog of poplar wood. Huh. I thought I had the incredible Mandy from the Somber Marsh. That's right. We'll, uh, hello, Pussycat. We'll, we'll fix that. Did I grab? I didn't grab the aluminium plate. I know. I got, I get distracted by treasure. Right. The cat's going to be go in, out. Make up your mind. You, you must be part cat. There you go. That. Well, Pinky, it takes one to know one. Sort this lot in here. Now, what, what was it I didn't get? The aluminium plate for the commission. Man, I have got to step up my glass production. Holy dearly. Actually, I better make sure I've got my glass production moving. There it is. I know, why am I making more aluminium plate? Because it's there and it needs to be done. Um, glass production. We can just check and see if we had any cooking. See, clearly not. I'm falling down on the job. Basically because I have 808 glass. I should make something out of my glass, I think. Alright, let's craft 999 of that. And for 84,000, I've just used 8,000. I know, we can be making glass for a while, I think. Can I make more? Of course I can make more. Let's get out of there before I go too much to town. Okay. So if I did that about four or five times, I think I just used 40,000 sand, which, which leaves me half the sand still that I've, that I've got. All right, let's take this kid. Apples, yes. No, we're not taking the kid apples, but I am harvesting the apple trees. Cancel. Those sparkles are deceptive. And I would be very sad if I, um ripped out my apple tree by mistake. We've also got some nitre and some um, zeolite. Maybe it's just zeolite. Like that. Nitre. Okay, no, it was nitre. Turn you back on the apricot trees for 20 seconds and they all decide to go nuts. Mind you, we have enough to leave them in fruit. Maybe the local kids will come and pick some. Alrighty. And I forgot to make apple juice. Hey Jordan. I know. Here you go. There we are. Now we're a dinosaur car down. What was it I said the other day? Don't don't give gifts to the kids until you've checked both of them. Yeah, that's why. Alrighty, let's go and find there's the pig. Okay, now we're heading into the factory. We're gonna make some apricot juice sure this is how we do it. It's been a while. And a food. Apple, herbal, apricot. Oh right, let's just go nuts with the apricot juice. And actually we need to put some more on to dry because they make good gifts. I might go a bit... Okay, we won't go nuts with the apple juice until I've checked on the apples. Uh, so let's let's see, we have, we have a thousand well, we have tons of apricots. Uh, we have how many ducks have we got? Because basically, we could sell all our livestock. All right, I have three ducks, three chickens, and three ducklings. Uh, we have five sheep and one, two, three, four, five, six cows. Hello, cow. They like being padded. All right, let's go. So we're going to take the pig because Wuwa is usually somewhere awkward. Uh, sometimes he's down at the harbour. That's my midday bell, that's just terrible. Uh, actually, that looks like 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's heading off to see his brother. We might just meet him on the other side of the bridge. Ooh. Hi! How you doing? No worries, you're welcome. Okay, let's go to South Block and do a little bit of trading. Good morning, Alu and May. I nearly called her Mina, but that would have been wrong. Alrighty, how to trade at South Block? You grab this, see if you've got anything that matches. So I'm ignoring the buyback prices. Some of these are a bit sucky. They want 50 and 200. I'm not giving them my nori. I can give them five cows though. That will make me sad, but that's okay. I have no potato fruit in stock. Pumpkins. I will give them 20 pumpkins. So we'll just tell them 20. Whoops, over here. Oh, I will give them 200. I'm going to click in the middle this time because that will enable me to hit that maximum bar. So if you don't want to be clicking the plus sign, just tap the middle of the thing. Uh, I have 126 of those. I will give them 100. 5 of cloth. I have none in stock. Linen, what do you mean I have none in stock? Because they're in the main box. I can't remember how many we've got. I will give them three hens. No, you're not having... Okay. I will give them 200 apricots. And I will promise them 50 apple juice. No, I won't because I don't have any apple juice going. Okay, so no, no apple juice for them. Okay, so then you hit the add button. So you've, you've told it how many quantities you're going to do in this tab, but you've got to hit add. And then you, you'll get the order form come up. So cows, pumpkins, this is what you promised them. This is how much they're going to pay you. And uh, this is when they want it by. So day eight, month four, year three. Hit post. Okay, you don't want to really modify your order, so you just hit post. Unless you've, you've forgotten something and you remember it, in which case hit modify. And then what we'll do is we'll just head back out this way. Where did I leave my pig? There we go. Grab that piggy and we're going to head straight over home so you can't deliver it you don't go back to your to your farm and, and grab everything what you do is you just go back to your factory and uh, head out to the front now at the front of the factory oops I may have landed on it oh no there we go so at the front of your factory you'll now have this little cart the delivery cart to deliver to it, just hit E for delivery cart. And you can tell it you're putting this many things into it. So you just click on each thing. I'll, I'll go and get the rainbow flowers, I'm sure they're somewhere. Uh, the hen. And you just go through. Alright, where are my rainbow flowers? I'm not sure why it's not picking up the rainbow flowers. I know I've got a thousand of these sitting somewhere. So basically it's pulled most things straight out of my um, out of my box. As you can see, I do so too have <laughs> a thousand rainbow flowers. Let's just grab that and stick it in our inventory. So if you know you've got something and it's not registering it, um, it may be... I know what happened. So let's put, as an experiment, let's put the rainbow flowers in the marsh relics. Just just because we can and because it'll drive me nuts when I find it again. Okay. So now we don't have anything in our inventory. So what I'm doing is just seeing where it's drawing the numbers from. Okay. So you need to have the things that you're selling in the outside boxes where the game can see it. Alright, so once you've got everything there, you've delivered, you can see what you've already given to your delivery. Uh, I want to deliver this now, please. Hang on. Oh no, I've broken it. Right, 
Once everything's in the delivery, the, uh, the nice man will come along and he'll take it away. You'll get your goals. Holy dooly, that's a nice uh, payday. And um, that's, that's pretty much how deliveries from South Block work. We might do another one tomorrow just because that was kind of fun. I haven't done it in a while. Alright, now where did I put that thing that was going to drive me crazy? Alright, I've forgotten which box already because I am that blonde. Alright, Desert Ruins. We need all of the bottom halves for spring through to winter. Bonsai piece 2. Female figure piece 1. Aeroplane piece 2. Ah, I forgot about that. Lion 2 and Sphere 3. No worries. Okay. And if I'm, I mean, if I'm being pedantic about it, we just need this flipping goddess piece. <laughs> goddess statue number 2. Alright. Why have I... Oh, I wanted to see how the paint roller worked as well. So let's, let's toddle into the house and just see how that paint roller goes. I may need to have another another bit of wallpaper on, but uh, so I don't know. All right, so what I did then was I faced the wall and I left clicked. Ah, uh, all right. So what happens if I do this? No. Nope. So I need. Ah, okay. Oh. Oh my. Okay, you know what? Let's let's go grab some pigments out of the factory. Ooh, so what what happens is you put your wallpaper on and you get a um I know we're not doing very well with our relic hunting. That's okay. I, I am squirreling today. Let us go and check out uh, the... Oh, this is how the wallpaper tool works. Okay, so let's grab these pigments out of our backpack, out of our factory box. I'm going to have to try and remember to put them back later. I'm going to be like whining about losing my pigments and how I thought I had some. Uh, and we're going to go back and see if we can and I'm going to see if it changes just one room or all the rooms maybe we can luck out on this and then I'm going to attack the floor with a paintbrush because I have to say this plethora of pink is just driving me crazy so all right so if I do light blue and purple I kind of like that we can do purple and light no, no purple and light blue I kind of like that too. So if I did this, okay, so what it does is it changes the entire house. Okay. I know Mint's going to come home and go, I thought you were supposed to be building. I'm not sure I like that purple, but anyway, let's, uh, let's grab our paintbrush and see what happens when we, when we attack the floor. Ah, so my guess is we're going to get to keep the, the pattern. I look at the floor, I guess, and click it. Actually, we can probably modify how the... Ooh. Oh, no, let's not do that to us or I'm going to throw up. Um, all right, let's just confirm that for a minute. I, I don't like the blue floor. Uh, but I do want to grab the, the paintbrushy thing. There we go. Technical term. And we're going to change the this purple, and we're going to just change the shade of it because it's driving me. Hang on, cancel that. It's driving me crackers. I know I probably shouldn't have played with this. Oh dear. Um. Huh. It's a bit dull. Right, I guess we can we can live with that. Let's let's confirm that. Uh, let's do something about the floor, because oops, that was that was my very bad. This is this is house flipper for for Porsche. I know that's probably not my best. Oh my lord! 
analogy for it. Okay, let's not do that to our eyes. Uh, ooh, okay. I know, I think that was where I was at, wasn't it? Alright, so originally we had... I don't think you need to look at the floor. It would be better if I was kind of... Huh. Cool. Alright, no, maybe not red. red. Red's probably not a great colour to have in the kids' room. My kids are seeing red. That's not surprising. What did you do to the floor? Ah, you like that one. Okay, let's go back to what it was almost at before. It's... no, I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try and see if I can reset the floor by looking at most of the room and maybe, yeah, there we go. Maybe we can get a better feel for the colour if we do it this way. It's really blue. Alright, I think I think we'll leave it at that. Um, I'm not sure I like it like that, but it'll, it'll do. Remind me next time not to play with the colours. I know, what did I just say? Shh. I'm just going to brighten up the sky a bit. Who means walked in the other door? He's like, what is going on with this house? You know, I am really tempted to make the floor green or you know, some other colour. Oh, no, not not that colour. Come on, I want a nice green. You know, that's a that's a and I can live with it green there. It's like a meadow now. Uh, or or someone slimed the floor. I'm not sure which. Okay, let's just leave it at that. That I can live with. Okay, talk to Mint. Hey Mint, how Darling. You doing? What you up to? I haven't given you breakfast or dinner. Here, let me fix that. Darling. You're very welcome and thank you. Alright. Okay, now that we have done faffing about with the house. <laughs> okay, we now know what the paintbrush does and what the... Um, so maybe you don't need to buy any any wallpaper at all. Maybe you can just change the colours provided you've got pigments, these things, in your backpack. So you can get those from Carol. Cool. I did not know that. That is awesome. Alright, let's um let us grab the giant seeds that we have lurking in our backpack. It's potato. I'm like, wow, I grew rhubarb. But no, no, that's not rhubarb. It is potato. I have no idea what's in here. So um, let's just sow that. Ooh, a giant apple tree. That is going to make a llama or something very happy. And a giant bamboo pyre. You know, I could, I could get addicted to growing mystery seeds and just putting them all in and just seeing what comes out. As a matter of fact, that, that may start to happen. Oh dear, what have I done? I've created a monster. Whoa, I already was a monster. But anyway, let's pop these up here because they don't need to be there. Let's go put our nitre in the thingy what's it. Uh, and I need to see what my apple situation is like because I swear I had some somewhere. Ah, uh, no, ingredients it'll be under. Yeah, see, I have some apples. And why didn't that show up, I wonder? Because it was apple juice we wanted and I'm going to go stick these apples in the factory and get some juice up so we have a bit of a backstop. Uh, so next time they order juice, we can have that on hand. Oh right, I know what I'm doing. Vaguely. See, because it takes time to build up your numbers as well. So let's collect all of that stuff. And stick it all in here. 
and it's all the bits and bobs that uh, bits and bobs, bits and things that haven't come through. All right, that's let's not put those in there. Let's chuck some apples in there. And now, of course, I'm going to whine every time I need apples. Those in there. Put those in there. Put these in there. What else needs to go in there? I forgot to experiment on Merlin. It's a bit late now. That's okay. Put those back because we've done that order. Alright, we're done with that. So, I think I'll play one more day, but uh, then I need to probably call it quits because I played a little bit long yesterday, so I've got a bit to do today. So we'll grab that. Ooh, excellent. Stamina is coming along nicely. Let's just do that on these. So this is one way to get like 60 bits of dried apple in one easy go. You just have to wait for it though. So I think next game I play, I might actually plant an apple tree a lot sooner. And uh, a, definitely a crystalla tree. So apples and apricots. Just one of each. It's going to eat into my disc, so I'm going to have to be a little bit more on the ball. Okay, see that? That is going to look really pretty once uh, once the rest grow back. Man. So yeah, so this is why I'm not getting my helpers to harvest my crops, because they pulled out all my flowers. Which, of course, is why I had so many flowers to deliver uh, to, to the thing. Because 50 flowers, if you plant 50 rainbow flowers, you'll harvest about 2,000. <laughs> Which is not something I wanted to find out, but um, my, my dear and darling husband and Mr. Ack got together and uh, and showed me the the potential. All right, I should stop waffling. I think what I'm going to do. Oh man, I really want to go digging. We might go digging tomorrow. We will go digging tomorrow and not play with the house too much. So yeah. So basically, the, the clouds and things came from wallpaper. The floor pattern came from wallpaper. And then the colours the colors we got to alter. And because it's past 9 o'clock, these little mung beans can go to bed. Come on, you. You need to sleep now. I know, you're playing so nicely too. But that's okay. This time of night, playing nicely can turn into, Mum, he pulled my hair. What? Don't give me this area is not suitable for placement. See? like in 20 seconds flat there you go all right the skidlets are asleep time i emulated their very good example maybe stopped waving around my jar of apple juice or apricot juice and uh let's get some sleep like i said i'll play one more day and uh then i think excellent we'll uh call it a day for this one down we go. All right, the kids are up. Mama. Yeah, they are this bright-eyed and bushy-tailed if, if they don't go to bed till three in the morning too. Uh, what, now, what did I say about gifting before we, we fed them? Right, Rowan doesn't want anything special. Aha, and neither does Jordan. Okay, fine. In that case, Jordan got a caterpillar yesterday, so Jordan can have a ducky. Yeah. And I should probably talk to my kids. Yeah. All right, Rowan. Hey. Yeah, I know. Jordan got a ducky. How about? How do you feel about a caterpillar? Yeah, they're good, huh? All right. They're always so happy. These two. Hello, Scraps. I know. I would experiment on you with apricots, but I'm not game. How about you have? Uh, no, not one of those. One of these. There we go. You're welcome, puppy. Pinky. I know, you don't want an apple either, do you? You would like a fishy. Excellent. And Mint. Mint would probably like cat. You're not helping life here. Darling. Hey, hey. I saw QQ napping in front of the fire earlier. I'd say he has the right idea. Anything to do with napping and you're in, Mint. It's like, goodness me. However, do not fall asleep in your soup. Darling. Yes, it's for you. There you go. Okay. 
So there we go, now we know how to trade at South Block. We might zip over there and grab another order before we go mining. Uh, I also need to go get a thing. Yep, it is Wednesday. We need to get a commerce commission. Ah, I'm supposed to be riding my llamas alternating, but I can't be bothered. The piggy is more convenient, but the llama is super uber cute. Let's see if we can, you know, steal the contract out from under Higgins' nose. All right, the church always does these important looking ones. 110. Leather belts, 111. Let's go with Russo because he, he's uh, the lowest on my friendship table. And we're working on building those friendships up. So, what else have we got? Leather belts. All right, let's go deliver that. Being bad boom. Hey, Mr. Russo, I have your commission. Excellent. I also have for you, I think, I think I went nuts and made some coffee tables. Yes, there we go. Very nice. How nuts. thoughtful of you. I really like it. Sure, welcome. Okay. Have I made any sunnies for this boy yet? No, I could give him a wooden sword again, but his mother just might murder me. Ah, uh, right. All right, how much space is in the... Well, that's okay. We're going to do a quick in and out. All right. Goddess statue piece two. It's got to be in there somewhere, and the law of averages says we should find it sooner rather than later. <laughs> oh, no. Nearly didn't make that rise. I know, Pinky, are you coming mining with me? And this way I won't feel guilty about leaving a llama out in the cold. And I can't remember if I bought kids toys, so we might have to stop at 9 so I can head into Django's. Oh wait, let's head into Django's now, then come back and we'll just mine until we drop. Hopefully we won't be mining too long today, because I also have to remember to switch levels, because we are pretty much through that level. Always gives me vertigo. I should know better. 83%. Not a good day for selling fish. Oh, fish. We need to buy some more dough as well. That can happen tomorrow. Mr. Django. Hey, how are you doing? Getting your take on menu ideas really helps get the creative juices flowing. Uh huh. So, how come you keep giving me the same recipe, Mr. Django? Here, have a flower. Oh. Now this is something special, my friend. You're welcome. All right, what have you got today? You know what? I know this recipe, but thank you. Oh, right. I'm pretty sure he's given me that one as well. I, I, I don't remember him giving me duplicates like this before. It's kind of annoying. I mean, I do remember him giving me variations. That's just normal. That's Mr. Django. But uh, yeah, the rest, the rest, not so much. <clears throat> Minister Lee, Hello. how are you doing? The church has a very large botanic. It does, and I would give you a disc, but I know that you like. Where are we? These much better. How thoughtful of you! I really like it. You're very welcome. Okay. Actually, that was Oaks. Oaks, can you just Hello. get out of the bin? Hey, the ladies there? at the research center are so smart. They can solve anything. They can? Uh, I have for you a... No, a carving knife. Haru! This is amazing! <laughs> I can keep this? Really? Really? Yes, yes, you can. So there you go. I found a use for carving knives. Okay. We've delivered our commerce commission, gifted a couple of people around the around the town, made made Oaks very very happy. Whoops, we haven't seen Papa Bear yet. That's okay. All right. <sighs> Goddess statue piece two. Pretty sure you guys are as tired of me chasing this as I am of chasing it, but we will find it. 
and then we will take out the desert ruin stuff fairly quickly thereafter. It's thinking about it. Please, Goddess, two statue. That would be good. I haven't seen it in like five levels. It's insane. All right, let's uh, have a look. Never know your luck in a big city or even a small one. Cat maid, soldier. Okay. Oh man, I fell in a hole. That's okay. These things happen. Alrighty. Okay, not here. So sometimes you can luck out just by scanning through the, the stuff at the top. Um, sometimes. It is, it is starting to drive me just a little bit nuts and I, I honestly did not need any help getting nuts and nuttier than I am already. Uh, oops. Power lamp, large iron, simple circuit. Let's go again. Soldier with a lance, large iron bucket. I'm liking the fact we've got a lot of performance center model pieces right up the bat, off the bat. And um, that's kind of good. Just gives me some hope that maybe there'll be a goddess piece not too far away. Of course, I could be just, you know, being hopeful. So what we'll do is we'll do the usual, the usual thing and make a circuit just around the edge of the area. Just see what these little clusters can bring. There is something very zen about this music, it's just kind of peaceful. We're not doing much, we're just digging in the ruins. This is also the um, the most powerful scanner, the the one you get after you've uh, done a lot of other stuff. So it's the final upgrade. So it is seeing a fair way. What's depressing is when you don't see any goddess pieces anywhere. So I guess very soon we're going to have to just pick a direction to dig in and hope it's buried where we can't see it. It's a good thing that the that the update is a little bit delayed. Man, talk about discouraging. All right, let's keep going. Where are we on the map? Okay. So what I'm looking for is a corner. And uh, we'll start at a corner and just head in a minute. Just So 
a lot of these walls will have um, areas in behind them. You just have to dig through them. Oops, uh oh. Okay, so. Alright, we came in this side. Let's uh, see if we can get out the other side. Alrighty. I'll check that way in a minute. I'm just going to take out this corner here first. Yeah. All right. So it does look like we're just going to have to start digging and hope. Um, at least we know we've got a full deck to start with, and maybe maybe there'll be something in there. Pretty sure I came around this way. Oh, what's over there? So there's a lot more duck on a, piece, on, a, on a king pieces here. Let's see what's over here. Yeah. Where am I on the map? Okay, so we're at that corner. Alrighty, so let's just hit M and right click just to get rid of the marker. Let's just head up to the top corner and see if we can see anything. So that should be around this way, which I'm pretty sure we've just been to. So again, I'm seeing lots of soldiers, lots of owl clocks. Duck and a king kind of is new. Huh. All right, let's uh, let's burrow through here. Hopefully. So all of those pieces we've seen. All right, that's your corner there. Okay, we want to head. Okay, so we are right up in the corner. So let's check this top corner over here. Yep, that's not there. That's not there. Checking over this way, checking over this way. And, and again, and again. All right. So we want to dig through about here, I think. If we can, I don't know if it's a, yeah, there we go, there's a hollow. Alright, we may have been this way, we'll find out in a minute. Then there's this corner up here. Okay, so I'm not seeing any queen, any goddess statue pieces whatsoever. So what we'll do is uh, just orient on the corner. All right, this should take me a bit closer to the corner. And we'll just see if, uh, if getting up into this top section and working along the top is going to be make any difference. All right, here we go. All 
Okay, it doesn't look like it, but we'll give it a shot. And tomorrow we've got to hunt out in the desert ruins. So we're just at that point in the game where everything gets a little bit awkward and slows down as you're hunting for your relic pieces because you've found most of what you need and it's just one or two elusive bits that, uh, that are just holding up the game. Alrighty. We're going to find something in this direction. That'll do. Yep. I'm just seeing how we're going in comparison to some of the other stuff. Let's do a quick zoot and see if there's anything that we're missing over there. Oop. So technically I should have been able to see everything at the top. Um, now we're just going to go a little bit lower and see what we might catch down there. It's amazing what the uh, movement of not so much can actually reveal. Let's see. the way we're going. So what we're doing is we're just going to work our way along the outer perimeter. We've kind of run across the, the inner perimeter and uh, we'll do what we're doing in the other room. So we're going to work our way around the perimeter if we haven't found it by the time we get back to where we started. We will uh, we'll check out another floor but uh, on that note I'm really going to go thank you for hanging with me today uh, and I will check you later. Take care out there.